Happy Thursday, everybody, and welcome to Porter's Place. The Impact Lions boys basketball team is, without question, one of the best here on our first coast. And check this out, folks. The program has only been around for four years. And four-year starter Jordan Jackson is a big reason why Ben Jones' squad has played in a lot of championship games. And tonight, he happens to be one of our Athlete of the Year nominees. I think he's an exceptional uh, leader. He's a very good floor general. Um, and, you know, those are the things that I, I think really separate him. Impact Lions point guard Jordan Jackson has been one of the major factors in the program's success in only four years of existence. Jordan was a four-year starter, two-year captain, twice named first team All-State. He averaged 14 points and five assists per game. And this school year, he was also named our Athlete of the Week. I love, like, just the whole part of playing the basketball, like playing basketball with Impact. But it was really the camaraderie I like created with my team. Like like my brothers, like I couldn't do anything without them. During his career at Impact, Jordan guided the Lions to three straight Elite Eights and two trips to the FHSAA state finals. Now he's taking his talents to Warner University. How would Jordan's game translate to the next level? So I think he's gonna be even better at the next level. Um, his ability to, to, to see the floor and read defenses, you know, his speed and quickness, you know, those are things that I think, you know, are, are going to help him to make that transition very easy. I'm definitely going to miss my coaches. You know, we definitely had a hard time, but they, they, they put me through everything. They, they got me where, to where I need to be right now. Hello, I'm Alan Jones, business manager of IBW Local 177. I want to personally congratulate Jordan Jackson and Impact Academy for being nominated to win 2020 Athlete of the Year Award. Good luck. And while Jordan balled on the basketball court, he also got it done in the classroom, graduating with a 3.8 GPA. Now, tomorrow night at 530, I'll reveal our final 2020 Athlete of the Year nominee. Then be sure to join me also tomorrow night, but at 1115 for our Athlete of the Year show. That is when we'll run down all five nominees again and then announce the winner of the First Coast News 2020 Athlete of the Year Award.